Welcome to video tutorials of Mekanis Miller. A Hartnell governor is a spring-loaded governor as shown in here. It consists of two bell crank levers pivoted at two points on the frame shown by two circles. Please notice that, in the animation, the frame is not rotating, this is because I wanted to make connection points of the balls visible. However the frame is attached to the governor spindle and therefore rotates with it. Each lever carries a ball at the end of the vertical arm and a roller at the end of the horizontal arm. You can observe in here how the roller move in and out when rotation speed change. A helical spring in compression provides equal downward forces on the two rollers through the collar on the sleeve. The spring force may be adjusted by screwing a nut up or down on the sleeve. Hartnell governor rotation speed is in between 500 and 600 rpm and by utilizing smaller fly balls and fewer parts, due to this the internal friction is less than that of others. The control valve either reduces or increases steam admission to the engine as required. When the steam engine increases its speed, possibly due to reduced loading of the engine, the fly balls would be forced out by centrifugal force thus moving the sleeve against, as in this case, spring tension. As the fly balls move out, the central sleeve would be forced upwards. This in turn move the bell crank, valve rod and control valve in the correct direction to minimize steam flow. Therefore decrease the speed back to its normal operating speed. Hartnell governor had better stability due to its strong spring. It is sensitive to speed change due to its high speed. Much less try to find the correct speed without overshooting. And the fly balls move roughly in a straight line parallel to the ground. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel and give a thumb up to this video.